Blessed and happy Tuesday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is August 22nd, 2023rd, and today is Tuesday within the 28th week in Ordinary Time, Year A. And our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verses 23 to 30. The gospel for today is reminding us of one important truth in life. My dear friends, I would like to say this one loud and clear. It is not evil to be rich. It is not bad to be wealthy. It is not a sin to be wealthy. Because the Lord wants us to be blessed. Not only spiritually, but also temporally and financially. The desire of God for all of us is to live in prosperity, to experience abundance, because God does not like us to suffer in poverty. It is not a sin to be rich, but if we replace God with our riches, that's the danger. And I think that's the point of today's gospel. It is dangerous because too much possessions will surely possess us, right? Too much money, it will make us proud and make us as if we are gods. Too much gold, too much treasures enable man sometimes to forget that he or she is a mortal and temporary. I know that you know how much money you have, but I'm sure I do not know how much time we left. You can count your money. You know it. But we cannot count our time. My dear friends, it is not wrong to be rich. It is what you do with your riches. It is what you do with your money that, that matters, you know. It is very difficult for the rich people people to enter the kingdom of God as the gospel says but it's not impossible it is difficult but it is impossible because heaven is for all heaven is for those who strive to enter the narrow gate God is not telling us that when you are poor you're saved God is not telling us today that when you are poor it is easier for you to enter the kingdom of heaven no that's not the point Hindi ibig sabihin, kung ikay mahirap, ligtas. At kapag ikay mayaman, hindi ka ligtas. That's not the point. It is interesting to note that the disciples of Jesus who questioned him about riches were not poor, you know? The disciples of Jesus were rich people. Look at Matthew. He's the chief tax collector and very wealthy man. Peter. He's a fisherman by profession and fishing is a noble man and there's a good income in fishing during this time. Judas, he's the treasurer of the group. He loves treasure. He loves money. The challenge for today, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, is this. Detach from your attachments. Do not be possessed by your possessions. Mother Teresa of Calcutta once said, we will be the poorest individual if we always think of money. We are all poor, by the way. Why? Because we came from God nothing, and we will live in this world nothing. We came empty-handed, and we will go back empty-handed as well. People want to be rich because of a simple reason. We aspire for riches because we wanted to be comfortable. And for me, comfort sometimes is dangerous because comfort, because of comfort, there is a tendency that we forget the poor. It's hard for the rich people to enter God's kingdom because they were blinded by their riches. And second, most of rich people, they forget that everything is a gift even their riches, even their life. My dear friends, my dear kababayans, 
we are only mortals. We are temporary. We are we have expiration date. That's why don't put your 100% trust on money because money cannot save us. Do not mock God because you have money because if you mock God you will die. Money can make you live long but it cannot give you eternal life. Only God can do that. My dear friends, trust the Lord not with your money. If you have money, do not forget the poor. I say it again. We will be the poorest individual if we always think of money. But if we have money, do not forget the poor. Use your money to help people. And do not use people to have more money. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends so that many will be blessed.